A Detroit funeral director is now charged with murder for fatally shooting his cousin outside the funeral home bearing his name. Shooting happened three days ago outside the Clora funeral home on Seven Mile in the city's east side. Victor Williams joins us now. And Victor, we're starting to get a clearer picture here of what happened. Yeah, that's right, Devin and Kimberly. You know, originally it was said that this was an altercation between two people, and they turned out to be cousins. But now one of those people, Major Clora, is now going to have to answer for what he's accused of doing. State of Michigan versus Major Calvin Clora. Three days following the shocking incident on Detroit's east side, Major Clora appeared before a judge officially charged in the fatal shooting taking place at Clora Funeral Home between Clora and his own cousin. Uh, quite obviously, Mr. Clora, you are not to possess a firearm while this case is pending. The 37-year-old funeral homeowner pled not guilty to second-degree murder and a charge of felony firearm, charges Clora's attorney thought was way too much. I think the facts of this case will show that uh, even this is even less than manslaughter. Uh, there are they're the only two witnesses that uh, there. And while attorney Otis Culpepper made a good case for the Detroit business owner. Mr. 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 Quora, of course, is a 37 year old uh, black male and he's a, he's a lifelong resident of the city of Detroit. He owns three businesses. The judge still gave Clora a bond no less than six figures. Court will set bond at 100,000 cash or surety. Now, Clora is due back in court exactly one week from today on August the 20th. Victor Williams, Local 4, back Got it. All right, Victor.